Hello everyone and welcome to my new flamenco guitar series. In this video we will be uh, learning a basic flamenco guitar technique that is called picado. Okay, so a uh, quick note before we get into the video, if you don't know what picado means or if you're not familiar with flamenco terminology, I would recommend that you check the description below. There I will write all these words with their translation slash explanations for you. So just uh, pause the video, check that out and then come back. Let me show you a demonstration of how picado looks and sounds like. alternating between these two fingers on the strings that's all it is we're just gonna now break down how that happens okay what we do first is we put our thumb on the sixth string and it's basically to provide support for our hand we do this when we play flamenco when we're playing the, these strings we always have the thumb here okay this is your your support your bass mm -hmm. What we do now is uh, we pick on the strings with these two fingers alternating between them in a way that it goes towards the inside and upwards. So this is, this is the movement you need to be doing with your finger, with your nail on the string, alright? Okay? It looks like a walk, if that helps you more with picturing the thing. Okay. The next thing is, well, we play this like that and then we rely our finger on the second string. And we do that with both the fingers. So we do this until we hit the second string and then we initiate with the second one. So this is our indicator on when to start, when to alternate, when to do the other finger. This is going to help you so much with the flow when, once you start getting, having speed growing speed with it, it will just be, this will be the thing that will be able to make you really do that very, uh, with, the, with such a speed and, and power. Okay, now we're gonna talk about two tips, two potential problems you could run into. For example, one of them is when you're starting going up and you arrive to the sixth string, you don't have a string on top of it to rely on. So what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna actually imagine there's one. We're gonna act as if it, if a string exists. And this will actually help you, even though it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but it will actually really help you after a while. It, your, your mind will unconsciously produce a string there and make, make it make this movement restricted onto this small movement because the smaller movement you need to do the faster you can play this this exercise this technique okay picado is like this the smaller movement because the more movement you have more less you have you're spending more time moving the the fingers around without hitting the string so the least the movement you do makes you produce the more speed okay it's just a little note for for you to have in mind one more thing is <clears throat> once we're starting to play up and we arrive to the sixth string we actually cannot sustain our uh, thumb on the sixth string and while at the same time playing the sixth string so what we need to do with the thumb is we need to move it along the body of the guitar we don't have a string for it to rely on so we're gonna rely it on the body of the guitar so we go up, let's, let's see how that looks like, while we go up. You see? Alright, so now let's move on to the left, left hand. This is about as much as we need to know for the right hand, let's get into the left hand. What we do is we relax the left shoulder. This is what we need to be playing, and um, we have our elbow away, a little bit away from the body, okay? And then the thumb goes behind the neck in the middle, alright? This is very important, that it's in the middle. 
If it's there, it's, you're gonna have a hard time playing. It's not, it doesn't work, especially in flamenco. And if it's there, you you cannot you cannot really do anything with it, you know. So it's the best position is in the middle. Let's see now what we do with the fingers. We play zero, which is free, like open, open string, and then one. Let's call them numbers, alright? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay? We do this for the first, second, third, all of the strings from down to up. And once we arrive to the end, we start again from the top to the bottom. This is basically the whole exercise, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate that uh, slowly in, a, in just a moment. Before that, I wanna just let you know we, we wanna play it slow and clear with such precision, precision that it sounds very powerful because what, we need to do, because what we need to do is we need to build power for these fingers to play this uh, technique, okay? So let's, let's see how that looks like. This you do every day a little bit, you know, five minutes, this will be enough for this. It will take time to grow, but if you, need, if you do too much of it, then you will feel your, your hand, will, it will be damaging for your hand, okay? For your fingers and your hands. Because it will feel really sour, like, in the beginning this is how it feels, at least, okay? So don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, let's do the second exercise that we want to do. It looks like this. Okay? How that goes is pretty simple. Four, three, two, one. 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 And so on. Until we arrive to the end string, the last string. And then when we arrive to number one. We reverse the whole thing. We do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay. We're gonna do that now one, one, one time also very slow. Uh, just a way that you need to practice it. Precise. Try to be as precise as we can be. Okay. okay let's go. that don't 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 do it until you until you have you're already somewhat comfortable with the first one all right two exercises I wanted to show to practice playing the technique picado for you for the next video or like one of the next videos I will be making uh, I will be talking about another exercise 
for the same technique, Picado, but that is a little bit more um, advanced and a little bit more oriented towards the kind of coordination between right and left hand and the digitation for the left hand to play like big distances between your fingers. This is very important. That is for the next, for one of the, my next videos. So I think this is about it for this video. Um, if you liked it and you think that this is useful, just press the like button, share and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next videos. Hasta la próxima.